Welcome once again. Right now we're at John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. Jesus is talking about a new commandment. I am very excited about talking about this because I've got something to tell you that a lot of people do not know. Let's get right into this. Jesus said here, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. So, for those of you who know my teachings, you know that I'm, I say quite frequently that Jesus never came to say anything new, okay? And it seems like he's, right now he's just, he's pulling on a new commandment. He said, I have a new commandment to give you, okay, that you love one another. But if you really think about this, I mean, if you know your Bible, if you know your scripture, okay, you will know that the commandment to love one another is not new whatsoever. That's found way, way back, okay? Way, way back in the book of Exodus, at least, if not the books of Genesis too. You can probably pull that out of there. But the book of Exodus, for sure, you know, the commandment to love your neighbor as yourself, the commandment to, to be good to your enemies, that is all in the book of Exodus, especially Exodus chapter 23. Okay, we got Leviticus chapter 19. Lots of different things talking about loving one another. Okay, you ask anybody, even non-Messianic Jewish people today, even non-Messianic rabbis today, they will tell you, okay, one of the one of the mitzvahs is to love one another, to be kind to one another, to, you know, to give sadaka, to give to the poor, all this kind of stuff. So when Jesus said, I have a new commandment for you that you love one another, why do you say new commandment if it's really not new? Here's the thing. Here's the thing, and you need to understand this. In the original Greek manuscripts, now, you know, it's easy to read this uh, in the English and and somehow assume that, you know, Jesus actually spoke English. He never did, as far as we know of. And, uh, and it was actually written in English. It never was, okay? It was translated out of Greek into English. It was actually written originally in Greek. Some people believe it was originally written in Hebrew, translated into Greek. But we know for sure some of the oldest manuscripts we got are Greek manuscripts. Now, this is the point. There are two words, two different Greek words in ancient Greek, in biblical Greek, that are both translated into one English word. And this is what makes it so confusing. You've got one English word that that is translated from two Greek words, okay? Why are there two different Greek words? Because there are two different meanings. Now, of course, I'm talking about the one English word being new, new, okay? There are two Greek words, both translated new in English. So when you read the word new here and you read the word new over there, you know, you assume that it means the same thing, that it came from the same word, but it didn't, okay? You need to understand there are two different Greek words, both translated new. One word is kainos, and the other word is neos, okay? Neos means new in age, okay? New as we would say brand new, like really new. Whereas kainos means new as in it's new, it's fresh or renewed. It, it could be new, but not necessarily new in age, okay? Put it this way, okay? You can go out and you can, you can buy, let's say, for example, a refurbished computer, okay? Bring it home. You can tell your friends, hey, man, I got a new computer. It really isn't new. It is not brand new, it is refurbished. It's new to you, it's new to other people, and it's, you know, it may look new, it may be all dusted off and, you know, refurbished. Uh, it could be like new, but it's not new. Okay, that's kainos. Whereas if you go, you know, uh, order directly from, uh, you know, the manufacturer, 
uh, you will get a computer that would be NEOS new, brand new, okay? New in age. So when Jesus said, I give you a new commandment, he was not saying, I give you a NEOS commandment, okay? It's not brand new in age. It's an old commandment that is refreshed, refurbished to you, kainos new, okay? I give you a new commandment, a kainos commandment. I'm refreshing this to you. I am taking this old commandment that y'all know about, you know, in the Tanakh, you know, over and over and over again, talks about loving one another and, and so on and so forth. I take that, I take that older commandment I dust it off, I polish it up, I refresh it, I renew it, I make it fresh to you. It's a new commandment. I make it new to you. That's what Jesus was saying. It wasn't a naos new, it was a kainos new. In the same way it goes when he said, this is the blood of the new covenant. It's not a naos covenant, it's a kainos covenant. He's taking an old covenant and basically just dusting it off, polishing it up, making it fresh, making it new for you, okay? Fresh to you, refreshed, renew, okay? That's what it means, okay? So never forget, next time you read this, whenever you're talking to somebody else, Jesus never did bring any kind of naos commandment into the scene. It was always kainos. It was always a kainos commandment. So once again, as you go your way, be blessed and may God enrich this word to you and show you great and mighty things and give you eyes to see, ears to hear, and a mind to understand as he enriches you with great revelation beyond that of all your peers. Thanks again.